What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Retro, and I'm back with a couple pickups from the Mo Game Con in St. Charles, Missouri. Had a great time. Didn't get to pick up very much, but let's check out what I got. Roll that motherfucking intro. All right, y'all, so before I get into it, I just want to say a couple things like I always do. You probably know what I'm getting ready to say. Collecting in 2022 has become incredibly hard, just super tough. I, I just, I, it's so crazy how hard it is to find things in good condition still at a decent price. So I'm glad I picked these up. These aren't some of the best pickups, but I mean, I'm driving you know, four, four or five hours to these things. And if I don't change my standards on quality, I'll just come home with nothing and it's that's a pointless trip. So I'm gonna try to change my ways a little bit and add some stuff to the collection uh, one way or the other. So uh, let's get into it. The first thing I picked up was this Cheat Codes Classic Edition. Now this is just a bunch of little cheat codes for the games on the NES Classic. A guy had it there and I thought it looked really cool. And I don't know when this came out or where this came out, but it has like, uh, I guess French in half of the book and then half of the book is English. So um, I'm guessing it was something that was sold overseas also. I, I don't know, but it just talks about the games on the NES Classic and uh, talks about, you know, on Castlevania here, it tells you what each boss is has uh, codes for games with passwords like bubble, for Bubble Bobble, things like that. You know, things that we've already known because these games are super old now, but uh, just, just really cool. And I love like old literature from the NES days, even new stuff that is about the NES. So um, I picked this up, super cool. Gives you some uh, little tricks to do for Double Dragon 2. Uh, just all the games on the NES Classic. Has all the stuff for Mega Man 2. And then it has a little edge tip here. It says, play on easy and enable auto fire to blaze a trail to Dr. Wily even faster. So just little cool stuff. Uh, has stuff for Metroid. Super cool. Has some passwords if you just want to kind of have uh, play around with the game and see what you can do. So you can get the fully powered from the start and you start in Torian. Ready to beat the game and receive the best ending. So just little little tricks like that. I'm kind of going to go through here and they got they go to the uh, Legend of Zelda, which is kind of cool. Crucial information right here. Talks about every heart container, where to find it. If you haven't played Zelda and you get did get an NES Classic Edition, this is great because these are super cryptic if you don't know what to do in Zelda. So, uh, super cool. Shout out to my buddy Jay, NES Addict. He was playing this on stream on TikTok and uh, he was streaming this game and people were relentless. Uh, because he didn't really uh, know what to do on certain parts and they're trying to tell him and <laughs> trying to tell him to find these heart containers and burn these bushes and I was just crying it was so funny so um yeah and then there's the French side so uh just a little book I think it's kind of cool next thing I got was for the Sega Genesis a game I've been looking for for a while can't really find it um in good condition if you do it's crazy expensive but I seen a guy there that had it and I uh, picked it up almost instantly. One of the few things I picked up right when I got there. Uh, Rambo 3 for the Sega Genesis. I'm a huge Sylvester Stallone fan. Uh, Rambo was one of my favorite movie franchises. Obviously the first one is the best one. First Blood is one of my favorite movies of all time. This is a really cool game. Super clean. I had to pick it up. I couldn't pass it up. Great cartridge. Perfect looking manual. Just an overall good condition for a decent price. I couldn't even find any online that were under like 80 bucks. It was just bananas. So um, when he said what he wanted for it, I immediately was like, let's do this because the ones online were in worse shape and expensive and every other copy I seen for Rambo 3 there was uh, crazy expensive. So um, it's a pretty cool game actually. You have little stages like this where you'll fight a boss battle where it's kind of like first person, not first person, but like right behind the shoulder third person. Kind of like a shooting gallery game and then you got uh, levels where 
it's side scrolling like this where you're just right driving around and the helicopter's attacking you or you're on foot running around blowing up people throwing bombs out so it's it's a cool game rainbow 3 for the genesis another thing that i picked up while i was there is a game called nba give and go one of my favorite sports titles this one doesn't get talked about a lot it's a very very fun game it was actually an arcade game that they uh, that konami brought home to the super nintendo great graphics I, I love the isometric view of the court how this game was just a super cool experience and it's not talked about very much i thought i would pick it up and like i said y'all the condition isn't the best but okay so for one you can only find like two copies of this online and it's over $200. So, which was just completely insane to me for a sports title, but I, I get it. So this was in better shape, uh, but it's not meant by any means. That's just kind of how it is in collecting now. You, you, this stuff is getting so hard to find and this is the type of stuff that's out there now. So picked it up for a great deal. I couldn't believe it. And it uh, has everything with it, all the inserts. With the, uh, let's take it out of here. The manual, mail away card, the little poster, just everything that came with it, I'm pretty sure is in this. So uh, that's super cool, and I just couldn't pass it up for the price. I'm glad I was able to add it to the collection. Maybe at another time I'll be able to upgrade the box, but um, NBA Give and Go, super cool game. If you guys get a chance, check it out. If you like, uh, basketball titles next game i'm going to talk about is a super scope game i'm trying to get all the super scope games there's not that many uh but this was one that i needed this was x zone unfortunately this is missing some stuff and that's why it was 15 dollars. but i've seen this copy for like no less than 100 online all day so when i seen that he mispriced this for 15 bucks i thought that was an incredible deal not the worst shape, but not the best shape either. Like I said, you're gonna get some dings. You're gonna have some problems. That's just how collecting is nowadays. But uh, this one's missing quite a bit. It only has the manual. I'm sorry, the manual on the insert. So um, is what it is. I'm trying to get all these. I only have like two more and I should have all the uh, Super Scope games. So X Zone, pretty cool game really, but uh, it's nothing to write home about, but it's okay for what it is. The next uh, game I'm going to talk about is one that I saw. Uh, and this is another example of just, it's missing stuff, but it was crazy cheap. And I couldn't believe it was this cheap. And it's uh, Batman Returns. One of my favorite beat-em-ups. I wish it was two-player. I don't know why that you couldn't play as like, I don't know, some other character. Catwoman, anything, even just a cop like a Gotham City police officer, anything, but whatever. It's a single player beat em up by Konami. Super cool game. You don't find them in this shape. Uh, it's got a little ding here, but overall, great condition. Uh, Konami, man, they were just throwing out some, some fire back in the Super Nintendo days. I'm glad I was able to get this one. It's missing everything but the manual. Oh, I got the bag and the uh, dust sleeve but it just has the manual. So there's like three or four things that it's missing. And that's just that's just what it is. I mean, finding this stuff in this shape is rare. Finding it with everything is even harder. So I kind of got to bite the bullet and just buy what is available. So um, I really need to add it to the collection for a long time now. Got it for a good deal, couldn't pass it up. Pretty much the same thing on everything else I bought. Batman Returns, such a cool game too. All right. The last couple things I got were um, just sitting in the bottom of a bin and he didn't have it. I think he had a price of um, six for 20, I think. My friend found some things he wanted and I found a couple that I wanted. And uh, there are these little pamphlets that came in uh, Game Pro and they were just like little series showing strategies for certain games. Like this is part two of two of Star Fox. Unfortunately, they didn't have part one. Just a little thing showing how to play the game, and it was for subscribers back in the day if you subscribed to Game Pro. So I think it's really cool. It is what it is. But I picked up that one, and I picked up a Street Fighter II Turbo, which was super cool. Pro Strategy Guide. 
16 pages of new moves, strategies, and combos. Become a world warrior. Oh, I'm sorry. Become a master world warrior. So uh, here's one of two, and then on the back end is the two of two. Such a cool game, probably my favorite Street Fighter game of all time. Incredibly well balanced. I love the original Street Fighter 2 because I have a lot of nostalgia for the original, but I think the better game is Turbo, but such a great piece. And I kind of just got them just because. So they were cheap and they were there. And the last one I got was I was excited about. I was pretty excited about this because I had never seen it before, and which was weird because I read a lot of game pro back in the day but i was never a subscriber so i never got this this is the 1994 blockbuster world game championship super cool piece i don't know much about it and like i said it was for subscribers only but uh when i saw this i was like man i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to get this so it's just a little pamphlet talking about the uh, 1994 obviously world game cha uh, championships and there was six games that you played. And it tells you right here, you know, how to enter it, the rules, uh, what you win and how, how to do it and all, all the little mumbo jumbo. And it talks about on week one, you would play NBA Jam on the Genesis and on the Super Nintendo. Week two would be Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighters. Super cool, just so cool. I love reading old stuff like this. And it has a couple ads for Domino's Pizza. Buy a large two topping, crunchy thin crust pizza at regular price and get any medium one topping free. Wonder if they would still honor that. Free twisty bread with the purchase of any pizza at regular price. Let the video games begin. Such a cool little um, booklet here. Then you got week two, Sonic the Hedgehog. Week three, Clay Fighter. It's just, and then so, I don't really know a whole lot about it, honestly. I, I just thought it was really, really cool. Bart and his Butterfinger make history. So cool. So uh, yeah, this is a little guide for the Blockbuster World Game Championship. Pretty cool little piece. I seen it and I was like, well, that'd be worth getting. So it's, it's whatever. But guys, that's it. I know that's not very exciting and uh, I kind of blabbered on, but before I go, I really want to just say uh, I hope everybody doesn't stop collecting uh, because of these prices. I, I don't know what's going to go on. I can't imagine this stuff going higher and higher and higher. I mean, are we just going to get to a time where Mario 3 is going to be a $100 cartridge? I, you know, I just don't understand. Thanks for all the positive comments, and I appreciate you guys watching my videos. Probably my favorite pickup was probably the Batman, just because it, it was in the best condition and I love the game. So uh, I gotta search out some um, inserts for it. If you have the inserts that's needed for this, I think there's a poster also. Uh, reach out to me and we'll work out a deal. I got a ton to trade, so uh, we can definitely work something out. And the the NBA give and go was, re was really cool too. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. And uh, I don't know you guys. Tell me your thoughts on collecting, you know, collecting games in, in, in 2022. I'd love to hear it. So uh, until next time, keep on reminiscing, y'all. Well, there you go. There's all my pickups from the Missouri Game Con. Had a great time. Prices were insane, but I was able to find a couple things to add to, to the collection. It's getting so hard to find things to add to the collection at a decent price. Uh, it's just mind-boggling how expensive these things are getting there was things that i thought i'd see at the convention but they weren't there either like this stuff's getting crazy hard and it's getting crazy expensive so those two elements are never good it adds to the craziness of it and jacks the prices up i'm glad i was able to find a couple things to add to the collection but it's getting very very hard 2022 uh collecting is just so different from 2010 collecting or 2015 collecting, whatever, whenever you started, it's just completely different. Scarcity, along with insanely high prices and low supply, it's just, it just jacks everything up. So uh, I'm glad I found a couple things. Uh, granted, they do have a little bit of cosmetic flaws, but you're not gonna find these things in mint, 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 mint shape anymore. It's just, it's just not possible. 30 year old cardboard it's just it's just not going to hold up and if somebody does have this stuff they're either not getting rid of it or 
it's two or three times the price. So I, I don't know what to say, y'all. I'm glad I got some stuff. But if you all have any memories of any of these games or just want to talk about video games in general, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, keep on reminiscing, y'all. What's going on, y'all? I just want to take a short moment to talk about my buddy Sean. He sells vintage G.I. Joe and other vintage figures at the conventions around here. And I think you should uh, get a hold of him if you're looking to buy some figures. Uh, all 100% complete, all authentic weapons, file cards, and figures. No reproduction stuff here. Uh, he's super affordable, insane quality, and I've been buying from him for years now. And uh, I mean, I've gotten almost all my figures from him. So uh, if you guys want to get a hold of him, he doesn't have any social media, reach out to me and I can get you in touch with him because these things are only getting more and more expensive. So if you're wanting to build your awesome G.I. Joe collection, make sure you hit me up and I'll get you in touch. Take it easy, y'all.